of IAZ collaboration with the embassy? Well, for us it is still very important. Uh, we have been uh, in touch with IAZ for many years now. Every year we have, uh, we have a meeting here in June and uh, of course the cooperation with this organization is, uh, is crucial for uh, education and peace, which is in fact behind uh, the entire exercise. Today also we are presenting this new uh, publication, so it's an important event and we hope that uh, of course it will follow in the, in the, the fall, the next fall, with, uh, with an event that we also include students that is, of course, to be seen according to the rules and the COVID situation. Thank you. What's the importance and the meaning of IAZ collaboration with the Parliament, European Parliament? We have a strong cooperation with IAZ because uh, we believe in the young generation for the euro, for being the new generation in Europe. And for us, the AZ is a strong partner. What's the meaning and the importance of the collaboration with the IAZ? Basically, to work as a system with uh, state, non-state actors, universities, and organizations who have the common vision of promoting peace. It's such a challenge that nobody can do that alone, neither the military or other institutions. So we must work together. What's the importance and the meaning of IAZ collaboration with the European Commission? Well, the importance and meaning is, is, uh, is many fold. First of all, it's uh, a collaboration with an Italian very important institution, uh, working on the sphere of international relations, which of course is uh, growing in importance over the years. Secondly, is a point of contact with students, which will be working in the future in international relations. And therefore, it's a moment of understanding, of exchanging of opinions with people that we hope will work with us and together with us in furthering and, uh, and sustaining the European Union goals and foreign goals. Good day, dear friends, dear colleagues, for me great pleasure to be together with our team during a very difficult uh, period for all our planet. I'm very glad to see all my friends because it's very important to be together for future, for our cooperation, for our friendship, friendship because uh, when uh, the situation uh, is not good, we are think about uh, our possibility to improve it. And now this step of Professor Massimo Canio to join efforts together to find new ways how organize uh, the world in our planet after pandemic, it's very important. Best Regards from Russia, from St. Petersburg, from my university, St. Petersburg State University of Economics. It's with the greatest pleasure that I send my warmest regards on the occasion of launching this important publication. Greeting you today from a conflict ridden land, Syria, in deep appreciation of the vision of the European Association of the International Studies, reminding myself that education, whether it is professional or social, becomes a catalyst for a more peaceful world, one in which the spirit of cooperation overcomes the impulse to dominate, sanction, or dictate hegemony. Reminding myself again that true peace can only be accomplished through justice and goodwill. A noble mission 
is as good as the will of its advocates. I would like to express my deep thanks, my deep gratitude and respect to the very dedicated Professor Massimo Canava for being such an Dear colleagues, friends, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to greet you all in this difficult time when we have to uh, recreate our everyday activities and life in new reality. In such situation, it is great to be in position to greet the launch of the publication titled University Cooperation and Process of Peace, published by European Association of International Studies and coordinated by Massimo, Professor Massimo Caneva. This important publication points out the role of solidarity and cooperation in difficult times and crises. It also describes how this uh, platform for uh, open and free and creative dia dialogue was developed and gathers our experience in building of peace sensitive education and promoting a culture of peace together with young people, especially one that are preparing to the diplomatic and international careers. Collaboration with ISC and especially with Professor Kaneva was great experience giving University of Sarajevo and University of Sarajevo students opportunity to learn about peace building process to understand its complexity and sensitivity, to learn uh, how important is solidarity and persistent work to build custom solution to start process of reconciliation. I feel very proud, but also a very, very emotionally touched for being here in this seminar this year. I want to say that the main task of the university is to educate people to be knowledgeable and tolerant and to develop such a knowledge that people can uh, cooperate in good relationships to make friendship and to live together with in peace and mutual understanding and reconciliation here in this very turbulent time. Israeli students benefited from this program. I take this opportunity to thank uh, Italian cooperation, Italian government, and of course, I should not forget uh, Professor Massimo Caneva, who has managed all the programs, not only in Palestine, but also in other conflict uh, resolution areas. You know, he, in uh, the Balkans, uh, and in Lebanon, cooperation between... As a the professor at the Lebanese University, a very hot region, the Middle East, is now full of wars, full of conflicts. Being part of this program represents a big advantage and opportunity for us to foster the attitude of conflict resolution, the attitude of solidarity, the, the attitude of cooperation between Lebanese and between all the parts of our Middle Eastern society and now we have a big problem of refugees in Lebanon. We have different conflicts, religious conflicts, a uh, lot of conflicts and historical conflicts uh, that date since ages, being part of this program represents a real opportunity to overcome all these obstacles. Professor Kanova, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear students, 
It is a great pleasure and honor for me to uh, send you these few words of greetings and encouragement for the very important event that you are engaged in today. The presentation of the publication on the work of the uh, European Association of International Studies. It is a unique uh, association uh, made up of uh, students from different universities, firmly committed uh, to uh, education, peace, and firmly supported by uh, the uh, Foreign Ministry of Italy, uh, and actually uh, the United Nations, and uh, all peace-loving uh, academic and international organizations. You will see from the publication uh, how much important work has been done by AEI, AESI. Um, and this work uh, is particularly important because it involves youth. It involves the, the, the new generation that is coming and for whom, unfortunately, we're not leaving a very settled and uh, well-organized world. And it is up to this generation to bring some order to it, we hope for them and for our children and our children's children. And this uh, cooperation um, between uh, AESI and, uh, and the United Nations uh, is, has a long history. It has a long history because uh, um, Professor Kaneva and uh, the students uh, that are engaged in this are very uh, civic-minded, uh, open-minded, and want to make the best of the education process, not only to educate the students better and to give them a, a feeling of solidarity and of their role in this world, but also because uh, they understand that by engaging with the United Nations, by engaging with uh, uh, civil society all over the world, they uh, not only learn themselves, but they also bring the energy and the enthusiasm of youth to these organizations. And as a representative of the United Nations, I can fully attest to this, having uh, been uh, on the receiving end of, of two visits of, of the delegation of AESI to Geneva, and uh, myself having had the pleasure to see uh, this uh, group in action, uh, in interaction with uh, Italian diplomacy and uh, society. And uh, I remember with great pleasure my, uh, my uh, uh, interaction uh, with uh, Professor Caneva and his group and with his colleagues at the Foreign Ministry. And it was a miracle that I managed to do this um, just a few days before we all went into COVID-19 induced lockdown. Professor Kaneva, distinguished rectors, the all. First of all, I wish to thank Massimo Kaneva for having invited me to participate in the most recent publication of AC. It was a privilege to have the voice of the Italian Development Corporation and join several prestigious scholars from many countries. Cooperation between AAC and the Italian Ministry of Foreign Affairs has gone on for many years with mutual satisfaction. I think there is no doubt that Massimo Kaneva spares no effort in the endeavor of nurturing such an occasion, which has rallied over the years important academic actors around the table where key words like peace, dialogue, solidarity, human rights are the focus of the work. This publication, produced by European Association of International Studies, is the history of a long period of efforts, engagement, personal engagement of rectors, professors, representative of United Nations, European Union, Italian ambassadors, but especially of many, hundred, hundred students, especially post-graded coming from Sarajevo, Belgrade, Mostar, Mostar East and West, Banja Luka, from Belgrade, from all the Balkans, from Beirut, from Damasco, in Syria, from Jerusalem, from the Hebrew University, Al-Quds, Bethlehem University, from Jordan, University of Madaba, 
from Lebanon, Uzek, and Lebanese universities. It's a, a great message for all of us that in this uh, period, extremely delicate, after a, a emergency, health emergency provocated by this pandemic of COVID, is a message of hope. We are in position to give hope, to propose something alternative to the conflict. We are here to say to the young generation that university, together the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Ministry of Defence, the United Nations and the European Union will do all the best to change ourselves, to promote better future. And the students will be the protagonists, the actors of this change. Many mistakes, many wrongs have been done by maybe the responsibles, but now of the international organization, taking experience from the past, likes to change and uh, to promote what has been good done. Dear students, my message is for you especially. Believe me, peace is possible. But there is only one condition, that everyday life is peace for us. Not only conference, not only seminars, not only great networks, or dinners, or lunch, or something like this, or political engagement. We need to change the approach to the promotion of peace through the everyday life. And how to do this? With the culture of the solidarity and freedom in everyday life. This is the message of the European Association of International Studies. Thank you.